Hey guys, welcome to the adventure. So here's another edition of Trucker's Kitchen using the Instapot. So I'm gonna make some chili really fast. I'm gonna go over the ingredients. So right here I have about a half pound of meat and then I have onions already chopped, peppers already chopped. And you guys know that we get these from our local farmer and I put them up enough for the entire year. So that's why they're in these little bags. And then I have a mixed can of chili beans and I got the pop top a can of tomato soup with the pop top and uh, then I have some chili powder, garlic powder, paprika and some salt and that's going to be our chili. So it's a really simple chili. Uh, I also have about a can's worth of water already in there. So I'm going to go ahead and thanks he just dropped the load on the floor. <laughs> Ow! Just kidding. It's like we found this and we're gonna prank people. It looks like poop. So we're gonna prank people. Anyways, excuse him being a hot mess. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use tomato soup as our base um, because this fits in the pantry really well. And that's why we're gonna add some water in there. All right. We'll go ahead and add the beans, onions, peppers, and I already had the meat all cooked up to make it easier. And when I cook, I usually try to only make enough for two servings, so I try not to ever have any leftovers. For seasoning, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover the top of it so you can see the chili powder over the entire top. Put some garlic in. You guys know me, I don't measure. Um, but just think about how much you actually get in one of those packets when you buy it from the store. It's a pretty good amount. If you want, you can use one of those packets and make it even easier for you. But I keep these spices in the truck at all times because you can also make taco stuff, uh, rice bowls, a lot of different varieties of food with some basic spices. But the packs that you buy at the store normally do have glutens in them, so that's why I don't use the packs. Paprika, another good stir. And remember, it is going to change the taste as it cooks. So we're just going to go put it on here. We're going to put beans chili setting 30 minutes and uh, once I get the lid on let me show you what it looks like so far yum I'm excited so I'm gonna put the lid on and then it's gonna sit here Scott's driving so I'm gonna turn the keep warm button off and gonna do its thing and in 30 minutes we're gonna have chili hey guys so the chili's done here's what it looks like chili yum so pretty excited you can see here's the consistency it's a little bit thinner than we usually do um, but I did put a little bit of gluten-free flour in there to thicken it just a bit and um, yeah Lily's excited she gets some I just put some ground beef in there for her with her kibbles a little bit of water and she's excited too so we're gonna enjoy this meal and hopefully you enjoyed this edition of trucker's kitchen check out some other recipes check out cooking with the instapot or how we set up our trucker's kitchen things like that all right guys until next time stay safe and eat well bye